Hello, in this video you will see what are script files in Octave. Okay, so a script file is a set of commands. Okay, and it must be saved with an .m extension, thereby making it an m file. Okay, so and it must it must be saved with a valid name. It means you can you cannot give any any name and uh, you must follow some rules while saving it okay and uh, it should be in the current directory or added to the path when attempted to run okay so we will see uh, an example and all these points will be clear and uh, one more thing uh, it the to run there are various options we can just run it by pressing an F5 key on the keyboard or from the menu options okay or just by typing its name on command window okay we will see an example now so how to create a script file so there are various options uh, to create a new script file uh, you can just go in menu and this new new script okay you can just click here and there will be a let me close this and this unnamed file will be created okay and uh, or you can just click here click new script okay and a new file will be an editor will be opened or you can press control plus n from keyboard or you can write edit and file name okay say my script file okay so remember that uh, you cannot give any space in the file name okay uh, you can use an underscore so just type this and enter uh, sorry this should be typed on command window not on this editor okay so let me type here and enter it will ask to create a new file create and save in the proper directory okay so a file will with this name will be created okay uh, when you go for these options you have to save them later on with uh, some valid different names okay now i have already written a file to explore these concepts with name g series sum okay so let me open this so this is a file this is a code uh, to calculate the sum of a geometric series okay so there are a uh, few points which uh, you have to keep in you have to keep in mind while creating a while writing a script file okay so it means uh, you must uh, give uh, the details of the program what you are going to do okay these are some good habits which a good programmer must know okay so this percent sign indicates that this is a uh, comment and it will not be executed in why the program will be executed it is just for the information okay and uh, so here i have given that uh, this is a script file to calculate the sum of geometric series okay so this is giving me the information what uh, what is the purpose of this script file okay and uh, you can add more details say what is geometric series this is 1 plus r plus r square plus r cube and so on up to r to the power n okay and here uh, r is a common ratio and, and n is uh, the no, the last power of r okay so you can say there will be n plus 1 terms and uh, you should give the detail of the writer so this was created by me so i have given my name and the date okay uh, 
uh, it is useful if someone other refers to your your file so uh, it will be easier for him to understand the uh, code okay so let us see the code so first we will enter the we will ask the user to enter the common ratio r okay and then we will ask him to enter the value of n okay and uh, we will calculate an n vector from 0 to n this vector is the powers of this say power 0 power 1 power 2 power 3 and so on up to power n so that's why we have created n vectors okay so you should give the details of commands wherever required okay so and we have i have defined the geometric series as r to the power n okay here you should use dot with this exponentiation okay because this is n is an vector okay then i have used an inbuilt command sum to calculate the sum of this vector so remember that this g series will also be a vector okay so to calculate the sum of this vector means to calculate the summation of each element of this g series vector i have used an inbuilt command sum okay so it will calculate the sum of all the terms and it will be saved in the variable s okay and uh, in last we will display this variable s okay so if you want to give some message you should use the display command and uh, the i have written that the sum of the series is uh, you have to use this command num to str okay since s is a number so we have to convert it into a string so this will num to str means number to string so this will convert this number s into a string and it will display it okay now so this star mark here shows that this is not saved means the last uh, changes you have performed are not saved so you should press ctrl s or you can save it from uh, you can save this by pressing the ctrl s okay yeah there is an option so you can save it from here also okay then now we want to run this okay so remember that when uh, you attempt to run this this must be in the current directory okay so this is a current directory and this file is saved here okay otherwise it will not uh, you will not be able to run this okay there will be an error okay so I have saved this in the current directory and uh, you can run this by clicking this uh, save and run button okay so let us uh, run this okay and go to command window and it is asking for the value of r so let me give r equal to 2 the value of common ratio and number of terms let me give 10 so this is the geometric series 1 2 4 8 and up to 10th power of 2 okay and its summation will be 2047 so all these terms will add up to 2047 okay now there is one more way to run this i can just press f5 on keyboard so let me press that f5 and go to command window so the file uh, the it will the program will ask you to enter r again so let me enter 4 and the number of terms say again uh, 10 so this is the geometric series with common ratio 4 and it will sum to this number okay and uh, as i have said you can it run this by just writing its name on the command window so the name is g series sum so let us write this g uh, g series sum okay so you can just write the file name without dot m and click and enter okay so it is again asking for r so let's enter 3 this time 
and number of terms say 15 okay so this is the geometric series with common ratio 3 okay and this is the summation of all the terms okay so uh, it is very important and uh, when you use these programming tools like tab or soil lab or matlab uh, you frequently use uh, to write you frequently uh, required to write such codes okay and uh, it is very useful because you can save it and later run this and uh, you can uh, make so many uh, different files and uh, you can combine them in one program okay so it is very important and uh, one more thing uh, i would like to add is that uh, when you uh, save this file remember that there should not be any space okay you can use underscore okay so this is the code you should try yourself okay so let us stop here